heart is where the home is my dear friends wherever you go in this entire world you would find serenity once you are back home our home is a place which embraces us which accepts us for the person we are it holds us warm and cozy in the days we feel lost and teary eyed for every person the home is a sacred place because it imparts shelter for all our near and dear ones and the sentimental values one's home holds for him or her are beyond description in words but sometimes in life we come across certain situations where we are expected or we are supposed to give the description of our home and it happens especially in case of uh, ielts examinations when the candidates they appear for speaking module and during that examination during the ice breaking session mostly the examiners they ask these kinds of questions sometimes you get in the form of cue cards or uh, as follow up questions so whatever be the situation whenever you are giving the description of your home you should be inspired and involve that zeal in your description because finally you are giving the description of your home that is the heaven for you so always be prepared and uh, stay in touch with the language uh, that would uh, make you speak fluently and boldly right so let's get into the content so once you are to start the description of your home always begin from its location that where do you reside depending upon the situation or in what context you are giving the description you may begin with the country or state or the city so finally when you describe about the city you live in then specify the area that in which particular area of the city you reside or on i reside in this part of the city at this road and if there is some prominent place nearby like a kind of you may say a landmark do specify that uh, in that case you may say it is hardly 10 minutes drive from that place or it is hardly just 10 minutes walk from that national park kind of thing once you are done with the location now comes the description of your home or your house that is very important that how does it look from outside so once you give the description like suppose you live in an apartment or you live in a bungalow or you live in some independent house so you are to tell the examiner or the person who so ever ask you about it also here are few things you are to keep it in your mind one thing use adjectives when you are giving the explanation of any part of your home like suppose you are talking about the entrance and uh, is there is a beautiful lawn which flaunts the entrance once you enter inside then you are to tell where is the location of your living room and what kind of living room is there like suppose you may say there is a formal elegant living room once you enter inside the home then you are to tell where is the location of the kitchen like for giving the description of the kitchen you may say you have a stylish modern styled open healthy kitchen then you are to give the description of your dining area like you have a, a stylish uh, chic family dining room this is a munching area then you tell that how many rooms are there what is the color of the paint and what is the color of the curtains if it is a double storied building then do tell that how many rooms are there on the ground floor and how many rooms are there on the first floor or second floor whatever is the kind of structure of your home or house do tell the location of your room because in every house or in every home the most beautiful part 
of the building is that room where you live in so do mention that do tell something about the decor of your room the kind of paint the color of the paint the color of the curtains the kind of the furniture so while you are giving the description of this whole thing try to use adjectives the uses of adjectives they boost your description but this is all about the structure of the building this is the structure of the house and the house becomes home with the description of the people the people you live with now you can tell now you are to tell about the people you live with like you live with a very loving mother a motivational father and mischievous siblings because your life is incomplete without them and uh, your family members are your lifeline and whatever you become in your life or whatever you are today it's all because of their contribution so this way you are to make your description very lively and uh, because you are describing your home so that way you should always give the feeling that you are very enthusiastic you are keen to describe more and more stuff related to your home so this would make your description very impressive and it would create a very good impression on the mind of the person on the other side